Hi, CF. Hey, I want to introduce you a guy named Terry Adams, who a lot of you know. Terry works and has worked for years with our benevolence team alongside some other great people. We have some people that are going to be rotating off the team, and he wants to talk to you about becoming a part of that and also telling you a little bit about the benevolence team. Uh, one thing I want to let you know is our Benevolence and Humanitarian Fund was set up years ago and we made it a 50C3 so a lot of you could get, uh, could have matching funds from your company coming into it where they wouldn't match for a church but they would match for a, for a, um, a humanitarian fund. And so those of you who work at Microsoft have been able to do that for years. It's been so, so extremely helpful. We've been able to help a lot of different people and support different mission efforts and humanitarian efforts across the waters. So I want to turn the rest of the time over to him and ask you to please listen carefully. And if God puts this on your heart to be involved, I'd like for you to reach back out to him and, uh, and follow him as he helps lead and follow and helps us help a lot of people in this world. God bless your week. Thanks, Dave. As Dave read on Sunday in the Ruth series from Leviticus 19, 9 and 10, when you gather in the harvest of your land, you must not completely harvest the corner of your field and you must not gather up the gleanings of your harvest. You must not pick your vineyard bare, and you must not gather up the fallen grapes of your vineyard. You must leave them for the poor and the foreigner. I am the Lord your God. God has always been concerned with widows, orphans, and those that have little. I believe that we are commanded to take care of these, not just so that they can survive, but to provide us opportunities to share what God has blessed us with. What do you think of when you hear benevolence? ECF has had a benevolence team since its inception that works to use resources to help others. Some of those in need are from outside the ECF body, while others might be sitting right next to you. We have some current team members rotating off, so we are looking to add two to three passionate people to this behind the scenes ministry. You may ask, should I consider joining this team? Here are some questions to consider. Do I have a heart for those in need? Do I have a good credibility detector? Can I say no when necessary? Am I willing to vet needs over the phone and in person? Do I have the ability to review incoming requests in a timely manner, meaning within hours? If you answered yes to these questions, this ministry might be for you. With the holiday season coming up, the incoming requests increase, so we want to fill these slots as soon as possible. I don't want to scare you away since we usually only get a handful of requests per month. So this is not a large time commitment, but it is a time sensitive one. In addition to the day to day requests, we oversee key events such as Thanksgiving baskets and the Christmas adopt a family program. If this excites you, please come find me and let's chat over coffee so I can answer any questions you might have.